Good day to you, RoboLinux customer. I am John Martinson, the founder of RoboLinux. Welcome to the RoboLinux Windows 7 C Drive to VM Support Step 2 video for Windows 7 in our three-part series of short and easy to follow instructional videos. And let's go right back to Windows 7. Told you to hear from me again. Now, what I've done is to, and I'm going to try to save you time, um, I've got the Step 2 um, for Windows 7. Um, and uh, it says here number A, plug in your external drive. I've got mine plugged in, okay, as you can see. And um, what I'm going to do is you have to log in as an administrator um, next, and you're going to be running the disk to VHD EXE program located, um, as I showed you here, in that unzipped folder that you downloaded um, with your um, C drive to VM. Um, support package. What I'm going to do is, for reference, we're going to click on the 2B cheat sheet. And this is going to show you what you need to be setting your um, uh, your disk to VHD. Um, it's very nice. It's a, it's a wonderful cheat sheet. And uh, I'm just going to leave it up as we do this. Um, so when you uh, when you go in and you click on the disk to VHD it's going to go through an install and then it's going to come up with that screen that you see right here so we'll do that and let's see here we have our disk to VHD oh this particular shortcut's bad so let's go ahead and load it from here okay there we go and um, we're loading it and here we are and we're gonna get our cheat sheet in front of us here so the first thing that you're gonna notice is is that we've got to locate that um, that external drive or the cloud drive and um, so we'd click this box here and you'd go down to my computer and you'd find your drive and you'd set it now in my case um, uh, actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and do the external drive. I'll just pause, um, and uh, I won't be wasting your time as it's building. Now here, this is important file name. The file name must be, in all caps, PC. Make sure you do that. File name PC and click Save. And now what you see is Id it's identical to the cheat sheet. Um, uh, mine is an F drive. Yours could be a G or an H or what have you, but make sure it's your external drive. And note that um, it automatically checked use VHDX and use volume shadow copy, so you don't have to touch those. Now here's where it gets kind of silly. Um, for some reason, um, in all the brilliance um, of this programming staff, they decided to include the volume for your external drive as part of the um, uh, VM uh, file which is kind of well okay so be sure you uncheck that and in this case mine is an F yours could be an H or a G uncheck that so you don't have an error um, and now we just check everything make sure it's all right okay everything's great yep and all we have to do next um, is simply press the create button here and it'll start the process as you're going to see. Let me see if there's any other cheat sheets I should have shown you. Yeah, it says here, be certain to deselect the listed external drive checkbox, cheat sheet 2F. And that one is here. See, I'm pointing at it right here to make sure you follow that. And it's the final one here is G, click on the create button at the bottom to run the converter. Now, um, when the converter finishes, then unplug your external drive and exit your cloud drive, uh, or your cloud drive, I'm sorry, and shut down your windows um, and go on to step number three. Um, so I'm going to start the process and then I'm going to uh, finish this video after you see my, my process starting and um, then I'll meet you again at step number three. So I press create. And you can see that it's, you know, doing it's in the process. And depending on how big your hard drive is, how fast your computer is, that's how long it's going to take. Um, 
you know, again, if you were smart, you know, you reduced your Windows 7 um, uh, drive um, below 127, and uh, you also reduced the amount of disk usage of that to a smaller amount of uh, gigabytes so that this process can go faster. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, this one is uh, now finished, and I'll see you in step three.